My name is Michael Taylor and I'm a systems engineer at Bluefin Robotics. Um, I'm the lead engineer on the Bluefin 9 vehicle, which is a two-man portable vehicle. Um, it's kind of the smallest traditional AUV that we build. Um, I do some work as well with the Bluefin 12s, which is the kind of next size up. Um, I get to spend a lot of time kind of driving the technical development of the programs and then also talking with users, talking with operators, uh, finding out what it's really like using our vehicles and out in the open and um, trying to push that back into the development process. Um, I grew up here in Columbus, Ohio, and I went to Columbus School for Girls. Uh, learned that I loved robotics my junior year of high school when um, a group of Ohio State engineering students came over to CSG, asked if we wanted to have a robotics team. We said sure, and it turned out to be the best decision I ever made. So got into robotics, knew I loved engineering, and um, ended up going to a little place called Olin College of Engineering up near Boston. It's a brand new engineering school. I was in the first graduating class. Um, interesting experience, and it was totally a blast. Um, so the, the first robotics team that I was a member of in high school was a real turning point for me. I knew I was kind of the nerdy type. I liked engineering, but I didn't really know what it was. And first, you know, the process of building a robot, the process of being given a set of requirements, figuring out how to meet them, um, building it, testing it, and actually deploying it basically during the competitions um, got me really excited and then kind of focused what I was interested in and what I wanted to do. So um, FIRST was really important to me and now I feel um, very obligated to really pay that forward. Programs like FIRST, um, BattleBots, uh, VEX Robotics, Science Fairs, anything like that are really important to get people hands-on and to bring in people who may not normally know that they're interested in it or know exactly what it is. Um, so I've been doing, I've continued my work with FIRST. I was a mentor of a team throughout college and uh, for the last seven years I've been involved with running the um, Boston Regional Competition. I'm currently the president of that group. And um, I've also been working with the uh, Massachusetts Lieutenant Governor STEM Council. Um, the state of Massachusetts is trying to do a lot of work um, getting, getting a, a better trained um, better skilled STEM workforce and so they're starting early, starting young and I'm part of what's called the WOW initiative which is kind of to create role models in different STEM fields uh, for, for young kids to look up to and see what the jobs are like. You know, it's me with underwater robots, there's a woman who owns a company that builds flying cars, um, scientists who work on all kinds of stuff so it's really trying to get people excited and see, you know, it's not just people in white lab coats working on esoteric things that you don't understand. This is cool stuff, this is fun stuff. Um, yeah, so I feel really lucky to work at Bluefin. Um, first, because I love my job. It is kind of natural extension of the robotics that I worked on through college, through high school, all of that. Um, and it's a cool job. It's a very cool job. Um, but they also have been so supportive um, of the other part of my interest, which is working on the STEM outreach stuff through programs like FIRST. Um, they've supported teams uh, near our office. You know, they, they clearly are committed to it, and they're committed to their employees who are willing to, to take that on and volunteer their time. So I feel very grateful, and I really hope that, that the benefit to Bluefin in the future is that they're getting a much better skilled workforce out of this. It's worth their time, it's worth their money, and I'm glad to see that they're considering it a priority.